Hello and welcome to Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. We are your hosts, Vidas Pinkavichus and Ushamut Zide Pinkavichin. We've been mastering secrets of organ playing for more than 20 years and sharing them on this blog since 2011. On this show, which we create from our home in Vilnius, Lithuania, we strive to help you grow in every area of organ playing, including practice, technique, repertoire, sight reading, hymn playing, improvisation, composition, music theory, harmony, and many others. Our hope is to help you become a complete musician, or what we call as total organist, a program which we have created to help you reach your dreams faster than you would do on your own. If you are new here, we invite you to subscribe to receive free updates of this blog at organduo.lt. By subscribing, you will also receive free video on how to master any organ composition and 10-day organ playing mini chords. And now let's go to the podcast for today. Hi guys, this is Vidas. And Usha. Let's start episode 540 of Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. This question was sent by May. She is our total organist student. And she writes, Thanks Vidas, we just returned from a two-week Europe trip yesterday. Now I almost fall asleep because of the jet lag practicing BWV 659 Nun Kom der Heiden Heidland as the prelude for tomorrow. I should be very comfortable with this piece for I played it quite a few times at the church in the past advents. However, I'm now very nervous about my ability of getting everything right tomorrow. I haven't practiced for two weeks and I'm very tired. What is your advice on how I should proceed with my practice in the remaining hours of today? It is 4.05 p.m. here in Eastern Canada now, May. And I wrote to her, thanks May. It's 11.31 p.m. here in Vilnius and going to bed. So I'm keeping this message short. Go to sleep first, no use of practicing when you're exhausted. Then if you have time to practice BWV 659, do that. If not, play tomorrow several verses of the same hymn tune instead of a different registration. 1. Principal 8 2. Cornet in the soprano, alto and tenor on the flutes in the left hand, pedal with 16 and 8 feet. 3. Principles 8 and 4, etc. Off to bed now. Hope this helps with us. And she wrote to me her answer. Thanks with us for replying to my email late in the night. My biological clock was also like in your time zone when I composed this email yesterday. I did practice until 10 p.m. last night. Good that I didn't feel as tired this morning. We didn't have that many people attending the morning service because of a winter storm in our area. I did play BWV 659 as a postlude in a very relaxed manner, for I saw and thought many people had left. Actually many did stay and listen to my playing. I was not aware of their presence until they applauded at the end. This turned out to be my best performance of BWV 659 and it was a pleasant surprise. Perhaps psychology plays a significant role in terms of the result of a performance. It is also the biggest obstacle to overcome. How could I perform in public without being nervous? That always the biggest issue. Thanks again, Vidas, for your advice, May. So, Osha, I already gave her advice, now it's your turn. <laughs> About uh, um, uh, probably uh, performing in public without being nervous. Well, when I was young, especially back in the high school, I would really get to know performance client. At one point I thought I need to give 
up at all, you know, performance in public, because it made me feel too nervous. But, you know, as the time went by, I realized that it's it's not good to think before recital. Oh, I wish you know that less people would come, that this this person wouldn't show up, and oh, I wouldn't survive if that would come to my recital. That's n- not a right way of you know thinking. Mm-hmm. And of what I'm thinking now, I'm thinking how many hours I spent you know preparing for this recital, and actually that I want people to come and I want people to listen, because you no. Know, we are not playing just for ourselves. We actually, you know, playing for the public. And you need to learn to enjoy to play for public because, you know, this is your final goal as a musician. As an artist. Yes, as an artist. M- probably musicians can practice in their practice rooms and at home, but, but artists really need to show their art. True, and you really need to, you know, to learn to enjoy it. And the way to to enjoy it is to do it more often. That's right. Because twenty, for the first um, maybe ten times, it will be a very stressful experience. But after a tenth performance, you will get a breakthrough, some sort. Maybe it will not become very easy. Oh, but you will start feeling a change in, in, in how you feel during performance after a tenth, after every tenth performance, I would say. Yes, because look, even you know, a piece like this, this BWV 659, which I'm actually also working on now, of course, it's not a hard piece, but it's not the easy piece, it's not side readable piece. No? Mm, not really. Yes. yes, so let's say it's sort of a middle somewhere in the middle. You still need, you know, to put a lot of time in order to learn this piece well. At least a few weeks. That's right. And, you know, when, if you are holding this attitude that, oh, I wish, you know, people would leave, nobody would listen, then why would you learn it? But it's nice that uh, she, you know, she sort of deceived herself uh, trying to uh, tell to herself that nobody will stay and therefore she doesn't have to be nervous and then when people did stay and applauded at the end she was already done and it turned out the best performance of, of this piece for her so maybe she can apply this feeling that she had during this perform- performance during another performance yes you know, to have this sense of calmness that might help too and look people applaud it we really liked it we appreciated it so it it needs you know to give you some pleasure actually to be admired and to be applauded and to be respected yes and record yourself i think that is another dimension of stress right because if you record yourself you know you cannot stop the clock is ticking and you cannot fix your mistakes while while you're playing and uh, at first it's really stressful but again after 10 10 recordings of your playing it will become easier and again you will discover something new about yourself about the piece about the uh, let's say instrument that you're playing it's worth doing that and uh, if if you have a recording, submit to our Secrets of Organ Playing Contest. Yes, Vidas always promotes it. Yes, because it quadruple, quadruples your results. People who participate can testify this. Uh, wonderful. I hope this helps. The main takeaway is, of course, to do it more often. Yes, of course, that's a very good to know. Suggestion. I think this is the best advice. And, you know, be happy if, you know, people come to listen to your performance. That's, you know, the best thing, the best way, you know, to share your, your talent. It's a privilege, actually, yes. Think about how many thousands of musicians would probably 
give up so many things in order to have this opportunity to play in public and church organists have this built built in opportunity to play in public every sunday that's right when you do this let's say every day that is sometimes uh, very um uh, difficult to bear over time but if you do this every week or once a week then it's then it's sort of uh, this routine is bearable and uh, can be quite enjoyable i think you can have enough time to prepare and plan ahead perhaps practice not only for one sunday in advance but several sundays in advance okay guys thanks for listening and applying uh, our tips in your practice they really work And remember, when you practice, miracles happen. This blog is supported by Total Organist, the most comprehensive organ training program online, where you will find courses for every area of organ playing, including technique, practice, sight reading, repertoire playing, hymn playing, improvisation, composition, music theory, and harmony, with hundreds of scores and thousands of exercises. Here is what some of the students are saying. Hugh writes, the sight reading course has helped me tremendously. Thank you very much for your SS courses and all your help. Robert writes, I found the fingerings, registration ideas and general comments to be excellent. John writes, I have found your download very helpful. It was really excellent. I have watched some of your teaching videos and when I read your instructions. I try to imagine you are there teaching me. You may feel disappointed that I am two, three days behind, but I am a slow learner, and I have committed to taking the time to get it right, as you say. But the other night my wife commented that she had never heard me play such a detailed melody in the left hand so well. My left hand is generally poor. Robert writes, It has been a great pleasure in my life of having discovered your courses and material as well as the YouTube work of recordings. You have a calm and pleasant way of teaching. Ron writes, Hi Vides and Osha, thank you guys. What a wonderful response to my email note to you. You've got me right, and I feel you understand my level of playing. Yes, at home and lucky that I have an organ for that reason. I am paying attention to this, and I am going to try this haha no longer secret model. Yes, and I love Caesar Frank too. What is very nice about your blog podcast is that Osha and Vidas are like a Socratic dialogue, and by bouncing things off of each other, so much more information comes out and is expressed. Your comments contain a wealth of information and understanding. I really appreciate this. It is very inspiring and will keep us moving forward. Would you like to receive the same or even better results that our students are getting? If so, join them at organduo.lt slash total dash organist. And of course, you will get the first month free too. You can cancel anytime. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to receive free updates of this blog, make sure you do that at organduo.lt. By subscribing, you will also receive free video, how to master any organ composition and... 10-day organ playing mini course. This was Vidas and Osha from Secrets of Organ Playing. And remember, when you practice, miracles happen.